Iowa's offensive line without talking about Tyler Linderbaum and how outstanding the junior from Solon, Iowa has been. And so the game starts with Tyler Goodson running for a first down. Nikeem Johnson as a slot receiver is a great playmaker. Bill Kudik on the offensive line is an all-conference player, but the offensive line doesn't block. Dustin Crum steps up in the pocket. And then it's a high snap. That last snap was high. This one is higher. Crum is run back into the end zone. Picks up the ball. It's a safety. And zip that pass to Tyrone Tracy Jr. for nine yards. And a flip out into space and a little juggling catch made. But look at all that space. And Goodson will take advantage of it. Touchdown, Iowa. Was 10-3. to Had an opportunity to go in tie with Texas A&M at the half before a late turnover. Dustin Crum threw one of his two interceptions this season in that game. They wanted to get their deep ball game going today, and on the first try, they didn't connect. But now on the second try, they do, as Keyshawn Abram catches the ball, bumped out of bounds by Riley Moss. That's a 48-yard pass. Dustin Crum is getting the play situated. There's still plenty of time on the play clock, and he will fake the handoff, and he will throw a bullet, and a diving catch is made in the end zone. Abram had 71 receiving yards on that drive. He only has 165 career receiving yards going into the game. Now Petrus, and that is nicely done by Sam Laporta. They've taken the ball away even more than the Hawks going to have. Penetration into the backfield. Ball pops out of the hands of Ivory Kelly Martin, and Kent State may have the game's first turnover. It was punched away by quarterback Montre Miller who has three interceptions this year, but he creates the fumble, and it is recovered by Kent State. Well, they have run a little bit here on this drive with Brian Bradford just picking up the first down. Once again, the up-tempo offense, quick snap, Dustin Crom under pressure and buried before he got back to the line of scrimmage. Second and long, second and 16 to be exact. And a heave down the sideline, and Dustin Crum has completed the pass, and it's another big pass play. Says he's going to be a great farmer someday, but first he's got a long time to play as a fullback. Underneath, pass is caught. Ball comes out at the end. And it's Sam Laporta who got back on top of the ball. 15 plays with this snap on the drive that started after a Kent State punt at the 5. And here's the inside screen, and angling through the defense, Tyrone Tracy Jr. Will they cash in with seven, or an attempt at three? And they are going to cash in with seven. Sam Laporta caught it and fell into the end zone. Touchdown, Iowa. And now here, 12 seconds left in the half. Dustin Crum under pressure, and a helmet has come off. Jack Campbell. Leads the charge for the Iowa defense on a sack on the last play of the first half. You were able to take the football away from Iowa's offense. You didn't cough it up. One takeaway, nearly another. One for Marquez Cooper. The most complete back. That's what offensive coordinator Andrew Souter told us earlier this week. If this drive goes the way of Kent State. Bradford. State fumbled the ball at the one-yard line. Riley Moss recovered for a touchback in the end zone. And fourth and two. And there is Gavin Williams. It's Goodson running. And Goodson turning through a hole. And he breaks open. Down the sideline. Touchdown, Iowa. With the rejection of the pass. And Crum under duress when he kept it. Down he goes. Zach Van Valkenburg leads the charge. Came into the game with just three through the first two games. Both wins against ranked opponents. Joe Evans and Van Valkenburg. Seven sacks now. That Iowa still probably ran about the same types of plays and concepts as it did back then. Nico Regani with the catch. He's fired out of the tackle and runs out just short of the goal line what they can do out of this personnel group. Yeah, they just got to run it downhill and smash it. Left side, end zone, Tyler Goodson, number three of the day. 
It was another day where the defense scored, just wasn't a touchdown. They had three <laughs> touchdowns in the first two games, but the defense did score a safety today that started the scoring and led the way to a victory that ends here in the next couple of seconds. At officially fifth-ranked Iowa, the Hawkeyes now 3-0 by scoring 30 points today.